Tonight, we're learning more about the shooting suspect. Christopher Jones Jr., his firearm purchases. Well, just this year, he bought two guns from a sporting goods store in Colonial Heights. But the owner says Jones was denied a gun on at least two occasions in recent years. One of those times in 2021 when he failed a background check. John Hood is live after speaking with Virginia State Police on how he was eventually able to purchase those guns a year later. John, fill us in. Yeah, hey, Kurt McKee. Well, VSP tells me at the time, Jones had failed a background check due to a pending felony charge. That charge was later reduced to a misdemeanor, and from there, he was able to legally purchase a gun. Dance's Sporting Goods in Colonial Heights confirms earlier this year, Christopher Jones Jr., the suspect in the UVA shooting that killed three students and injured two others, purchased two guns from its store. The store owner says in February, Jones bought a rifle and a 9mm handgun with an extra magazine in July. The owner says there was nothing noteworthy about these purchases, but that Jones had failed to purchase a weapon twice before. Once back in 2018 because Jones was underage, and then again in 2021 because he failed the background check. These attempted purchases were sent to Virginia State Police, who say Jones's background check failed due to an existing pending felony charge related to a hit and run crash in Petersburg, but that was later reduced to a misdemeanor. You know, if you have a felony charge pending or you have a felony conviction, then under Virginia and federal law, you are prohibited from possessing a firearm. But if a, fe a pending felony charge is reduced to a misdemeanor, that prohibition no longer exists. MVC 12 legal analyst Steve Benjamin says those weapons purchased earlier this year, while unfortunately led to a tragedy, seem to have been obtained legally and that no other party, including the store they were sold from, could be held liable. Now, if the person is clearly ineligible because of a background check or because of their answers to a questionnaire to purchase a firearm, then sure, there's criminal liability. But a shop is never liable for the consequences of a lawful sale to a person of a firearm. Now, VSP says that the only restriction that comes with purchasing guns in Virginia is the 30-day rule. As of tonight, there is still no evidence, clear evidence, that, that claims that the gun purchased this summer and earlier this winter were, was a gun that was used this Sunday. Live on your side tonight, John Hood, NBC 12 News.